Well, I think that fiction is important because fiction tells stories, and stories are, I think, uh, the best tools for teaching that we have. So stories become, uh, I think, the most organic and the least threatening way uh, to learn. The second thing is that literature has uh, lent itself to looking at the complexity of life. You know, so it is not a form that oversimplifies, uh, a form that uh, renders life in its one dimension. And fiction is also involved in exploring, looking at moral dramas because it's human, because it looks at human beings, okay? Human beings in their interactions are uh, engaged in moral exchanges, you know, so we're looking at how do I treat another human being and how do I, how do they re respond given the way that, uh, that I treat them? That kind of relationship within families, um, between members of, uh, between, you know, just different people, between strangers, between people uh, in the workplace and between nations is a sort of drama that literature brings to the fore. And so when you look at the history, for example, of Africa's colonial encounter with Europe, you find that a novel like Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart, for example, brings out that drama and the meaning of it, the consequences of that uh, encounter between a colonizing Europe and an African community that is the process of being colonized, brings it out in a very powerful way. I think that the only limitation, and I won't really uh, call it a serious limitation, is that you can't, in the end, reduce even historical fiction to history. So its purpose is not uh, fidelity, is not to be faithful to historical data as it happened. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it is a very, often a very moving and very poignant account of historical development.